In this video, we're going to test an untested Canon SureShot Supreme. All right, so I picked up this Canon SureShot Supreme on eBay as I get most of my cameras there uh, untested. Uh, what we're going to do now is actually test this thing out. Uh, before I do that, I do want to show you guys a little bit about how I choose cameras when I'm buying them untested. Um, I highly recommend you buy untested film cameras on eBay rather than paying full price because you're going to save a lot of money. First off, I got this camera. Uh, came with a case uh, for $26. Let me go ahead and show you here. All right, so as you can see here, I got the camera for $26. So let's go ahead and check out uh, the listing itself so I can tell you a little bit about what I'm thinking when I first receive a camera. Okay, so here's the camera that I picked up on eBay. Uh, it was a, it looks like it was an auction. I got it for $15 plus $9.25 shipping. It was used. So this one actually says used. If we read this description a little bit more, selling a cosmetically good looking thrift store find, untested with film and carry case. I know nothing about this untested thrift camera, from blah, blah, blah. More items will be thrifted, da, 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 untested, yeah, 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 yeah. This one does not accept returns. If you are not feeling risky, if you don't wanna take the risk, um, as I said, I spent $26 on this camera. Uh, for me, I take the risk on these all the time because through my experience of buying cameras untested through the years, more often than not, they're working. Uh, a lot of times people just don't know how to use film cameras. So I do take some more risk. However, you could find cameras like this untested with free returns and then you're not having any kind of risk. So that's always a good way to look at it. Something else I always do is I'll go into their background, right? So I'm not, because uh, they say it's untested, you also have to understand that people have different definitions of untested. So if we go into this seller's history of selling, go into all categories, I'm looking for cameras specifically to make sure uh, what kind of background they have selling cameras. And I don't see cameras here. Where is cameras? Well, there you go. Um, he didn't have a lot of cameras to sell in the first place. I might have bought his only camera. He's not even selling any more cameras. Um, had I saw a bunch of cameras that he was selling, some untested, some tested, I probably wouldn't have pulled the trigger on this. But because this guy sells a ton of different stuff, obviously a thrift store find, um, I took the risk on that. Next thing we're gonna check out is how much this thing's worth, right? So if I got this thing for $26, let's see what a Canon SureShot Supreme sells for. So we're gonna go into search, go to Canon SureShot Supreme. I've already kind of set that up. Boom, and then we're gonna click on filter up top and scroll down, show more, and go all the way down to sold items, and boom. So $75, not bad, that's not a sure shot. $99, $100, right? I got a $26 camera here that could sell for $100 instead. $100, um, I will tell you I sold this camera before, let's see if I can find my listing in here. Just recently I sold one of these for I think it was $119. So essentially $120 camera for 26 bucks, right? That's a huge discount if this thing works. Um, again, this one's a little bit more risky. However, I did my background check on them. They don't sell cameras a lot, so I felt very confident. So what do you say we test this thing out? All right, the first thing we're gonna need to do with this camera is, of course, get a battery in it. I actually have a great tool here. It's a screwdriver. There's a link in the description below if you wanna pick one up uh, for testing cameras. Uh, it actually comes with this whole set. So let me switch out my bits. It takes a Phillips head. Here's actually the side that you find the battery in. Again, super weird, but it is what it is. Two screws out, and voila, there's the battery. The type of battery we're gonna need to test this thing is the, here it is, this is the one that I use. This is a two CR5 battery. There's a link in the description below if you need to pick one of these up as well. All right. So this is a good battery. This is most likely a bad battery that we took out. Let's go ahead and test it out. Put the battery in properly and cross our fingers that this bad boy is gonna work. This is a $120 camera that we picked up for $26. Not a bad savings if you ask me. Would you rather pay $120 or 26? So again, I think this is a great camera 
to get untested because of the way the battery is, is hidden. So this thing has a cool little opening, a little ninja-like opening. Um, oops, wrong button, it's this circle. Push it, boom, it opens up. Now the camera is engaged and this is the only way to test it. Let's press the button. Boom, so far, so good. $26 for a $120 camera. Let's test out a couple other things to make sure it's working. On the back, we do have the film count that's working. That's great news. Zero right now, no film in here. Uh, battery is full. That's a good sign. Let's go ahead and see if we can get it without the flash. Check the shutter. Uh, looking at this camera towards the light so that the flash doesn't engage because it's an automatic flash. And I can see the shutter inside opening and closing. Flash is working obviously, that's a good sign. I like to test the timer on top. Um, this camera, it looks like you just press the timer button and it automatically engages. So this will take about 10 seconds to go off. Boom, done. Now, last thing we wanna test is film. And this thing is good to go for $26. I have a roll here, this is a dummy roll. Basically, it's a roll that I use over and over to test cameras. You don't want to waste your good, expensive, what, $10, $15 roll of film. How would I get the film out, though, is this tool. There's a link in the description below. This is super, super helpful, uh, actually essential if you're testing cameras. So how you do that is you pop it in, roll it, click, roll it, click, pull, and there's our film. All right, so we're gonna open up the back and then we're going to go ahead and put the film in, upside down, like so, close the door. Zero should turn to a one, I can't tell if you can see that. And it did, that's another good sign. So it's loading film properly. It says two, three, one more for good luck, four. Boom, next thing is rewind. We are good to go. All right, film has been rewound. Uh, I can always use this film on my next camera because I have this nice tool. Uh, again, the link is in the description below. And this camera works perfectly. A $100, $120 camera. I just saved myself about $70, $80 on a film camera. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. This is what we do here is test untested cameras, show you guys how really easy it is to save some money on a vintage film camera. That's a fun thing to do. In my experience, it's pretty easy. There are some things to check for, and that's what I'll show you guys. It's, it's kind of the what I look for when I'm buying untested cameras, how I keep my percentage of non-working cameras low, uh, save you guys some money. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure you subscribe to this channel. And again, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.